today. <laughs> I'm going to be... Actually, first I want to say, like, doesn't this look like a face? Like, my palette today just kind of, like, looks like a face. I almost want to just, like, finish, like, the face. You know what I mean? looks like a man's face or something. This is like the brow. This hair. The hairline here. It's almost like a... It's like a Chinese guy or something. It's like he's got like the spiky hair. Like a warrior. Chinese warrior or something. This is just, I don't know, my imagination at play right now because I realize like I do so many different types of things that like I'll don't I don't finish, you know, like ideally this would be like completely finished. Like I would finish something to completion. The hair would be like perfect. But it's not what I'm doing so far, and I don't even want to paint in black yet, so let me just get this out of the way. It's not the color I really want to paint in right now, but I will a little bit, because I need to darken this up anyway. So these are kind of shadows. I've just been working with shadows because of my, I guess, ADHD or something. I can't, I can't focus on something long enough to get more detail done. I guess I feel a little bit rushed to get everything done and to have multiple paintings. So I'm going to try to not feel like that anymore. I'm just going to try to let things move at the pace that they need to move at so that I can like actually like get things done and like be happy about how things are turning out. Um, Honestly, some of this you just do need to let it kind of marinate, though, because the black goes on a little bit thin sometimes. It just does, you know? Uh, there's nothing you can really do about that except just let it do what it's going to do. So that's kind of what I'm like experimenting with right now, I guess, just letting things do whatever they're going to do. Someone's crazy hair. I don't believe and I think we're going to open this one up today, which is a new one. This is a color shift metallic. Again, I'm using it for more for the tone than for anything else because the sparkliness I don't believe would be uh, caught on a scanner. So let me just kind of open this one, one hand every light color. Let's see, you can kind of see the shimmer in it. Almost like it has a blue, like blue uh, tint to the purple. So I'm just going to mix that with some of the regular purple just to get this a purple color that I want which is like a little bit lighter so, so I'm gonna go over here with this and I wish I could get like a closer up but I'm having to hold it again I'm having to hold the canvas the way that the, the light was positioned I wasn't able to position the canvas nicely um, is the shadow of the camera was getting in the way. So, so I just have to move everything over. Like move my chair over. I just didn't want to move. I think I will do that though because this is going to be way too difficult to do all this purple from this position. But I really wanted to have a more contrast and a darker purple with this yellow. So let me move over there and we'll see if we can get set up again. Um, where am I? Okay. Ooh, okay. This is kind of good. 
This is comfortable for me too. Uh, I just want to go through with these light things and just make them a bit darker. Everything that was light needs to be just a little bit darker. And see, it's still difficult. It's still kind of pale. The consistency isn't perfect. That's just how it is. I'm just using like paints that are like a dollar, you know? So, multiple layers, whatever, I guess. It's just what it takes. I got like the tiniest brush that I have. It's just really, it's hardly even a brush. I just call it a nub. out here. It's hard to see. Sorry about that. Whatever it is. Someone would like to send me a perfect painter's camera stand for a Nikon cool pics for Christmas. You're welcome to do that. And this painting is just kind of mimicking, there's a scene where there's lots of music, partying, so this is kind of just trying to bring on and bring in that like party scene, the vibe, the party. So... I mean, technically, I should probably throw in some glitter here or something. You know what I really do need is I need, um, like, a clear glue spray. Because then I can just spray where I want, or paint on, clear where I want the glitter. I could use the Mod Podge, technically, but the Mod Podge makes everything shiny. So I have been thinking of, like, not finishing these paintings until I scan them. Because I don't want them to be, like, shiny too shiny before they're scanned. I mean, it's a little disappointing now that I'm like painting so small because I'm thinking I should just start doing larger canvases so that I can get more done at a time because the acrylic really does dry fast. I have to just move so quickly to get everything done that I'm thinking that I should start doing larger canvases. But the thing is they cost like a lot. It'll be like $30 for one canvas, you know, just for the canvas, nothing on it. And it's like, it's hard to like dedicate uh, that much money to just one canvas for me because I don't want to like mess up the canvas. And then also I like to have multiple canvases going at a time. So then that's going to be like hundreds of dollars in canvases. And then it's hard to justify as just a hobby if you don't think that it's going to sell or you're not selling it anywhere or it's going to be a part of like artwork later that you don't know how good it's going to, I don't know. It's just one of those things I haven't like completely invested yet. Especially since acrylic is so finicky, but it is the medium that I like because oils are like toxic, literally like oil paint is toxic. And acrylics is just like plastic, so it's like less toxic. And I like to work with my hands and I'll end up like touching it. So I don't want to work with like toxic stuff, even though, even though oils are apparently like last like centuries. So it's like the longevity of the work. Why wouldn't you use oils just for the longevity? Like, I don't know how long acrylics last, but now I'm like, okay, well, 
painting with oil paint like I don't want to end up like breathing in the fumes that's used to clean the brushes like what am I supposed to do just like have brushes that I'll like throw away you know like that would be a waste let me mix up a little more here you know this color that I made sorry it's kind of like going off screen now because like we're really leaning up against the edge of the painting. I have ebooks about blogging, I have ebooks about zen, uh, kind of like decoration, like um, decorative arts, feng shui, uh, what else do I have? Like spells, like a book of spells, kind of witchy thing. Um, I have, right now I have like a, a, a pack, like a kind of like starter pack, holiday, gift packs, um, critical thinkers, it's one of them, it's got a journal for like, if you're into engineering, kind of writing prompts, and then the other one has the holiday spirit pack is for the kind of like meditative decorating, um, other stuff. Maybe I'll, if I remember to put down the link in the description can direct you to that it's i'm only having the holiday packs available during the holidays so if you don't see them if you find this video after then and you don't see them there then you can just buy them individually as um all the books they'll, they'll be available so So I don't, I don't think you can really, maybe you can tell a little bit on the video. This yellow background is like very shiny actually. So it's got that, that kind of glittery shine to it. Maybe I'll be able to buy supplies. I like to focus on like buying things for like family. It's been helping me out. Cause like I think that's important. Um, my paintbrush just casually falling apart. It's okay, it's just like the wood anyway. Does it, who needs like a paint, a colored paintbrush, you know? Like it, it could just be like come as wood, it'd be fine. Um, because I want more purple. Where am I going now? Where am I going? Let me go over here. It's too much. So that's why it's like a hobby, you know, I mean, we'll just keep it as a hobby because if you can't make profit from it, then all it's ever going to be is a hobby. That's the difference between like being self-employed and just having something as a hobby. It's like you have to be able to find how to make your hobby make money and then it can be like your actual work. Try some highlighting. Okay, I need water to do this honestly because it'll never do it on its own. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water inside one of these things in my palette. Just never does it on its own. I just know. I just know. Come here. That's pretty hot. And now it's going actually over the yellow and so just kind of being transparent in there. Blend carelessly. It usually works out. If you're careless blending. It's almost always successful. I 
I'm gonna do it whatever way I want. Make it look right. And then just demolish up the water. And if you come down here, you then be like, I'm gonna tell you what to do. You don't tell me, I'll tell you. And you blend down here. And then you can you can make it like this if you want. Like that's kind of you can do whatever you want, you know. It's your opinion. You do you so now we've got except the camera is difficult to catch up catch these things. Like, it's difficult to catch these things. Brush off. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back in and do the regular color again. reason it makes it thicker kind of like less translucent I guess the white is like a more it's like thicker paint I don't know Making that one to have the lighter color kind of bring the things out. Give me more depth. Really does make it look more electric. 